How you doing? This is John from Berserker Lures. We'll be painting 1 8 ounce jig heads. Um, so what I'm gonna do here is just gonna straight up just wing it. I'm gonna paint these all white and then I'm probably gonna have multiple different patterns. So first time ever doing this, so let's see what happens. All right, got these all painted white. Uh, first code that I'm going to be doing on a couple is going to be pearlized white. I've already started on this a little bit, but I'm doing pearlized yellow on these. Doing the second code on these. All right, so now I got pearlized white and I did pearlized yellow. So I went ahead and I flipped these hooks out because obviously when it when it, when it fishes, it, it's going to be like this. So. You know, obviously we want to make sure that we do what we do as a plan for this to be the bottom. So I'm thinking about doing like what I did with my one lure. I'm going to leave a little bit of white on the bottom, do a pearl green, do a, a pearl turquoise. And then I was going to do a like electric blue on the top. It's very small. I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to see if I can do it. That's what it's about, challenging yourself. All right, so I got, I have pearlized green in here now. Sorry, I have iridescence. I have iridescence green in here now. So I'm going to try to leave this bottom half white and then do the overlay green right now. Look for a nice little fade, holding it in an angle. All right, so now you can see I got a green here and it goes down faded into the pearlized white. All right, so I'm gonna dry these up and then I'm gonna put a little wrap on them and do some color jobs on it. All right, so I dug into my scrap pile and I found some spare wrap just to experiment with. And so I'm gonna put some turquoise on both of these and I'm gonna see how it turns out. And then I'm going to put on some electric blue on this one. And then I'm probably going to do a, a violet on this one. So I'm going to try to stop right here, roughly halfway. Um, it doesn't matter if you go over. I'm still going to try to fade it and all that stuff. But we'll see how it goes. When in doubt, it'll work out. Let me focus this real quick. There we go. All right, so I got the turquoise on here now. I'm going to dry these off and I'm going to put another layer of color. I believe this one here, I'm going to go with a violet. And then the other one here... And this one here, I'm gonna go with a electric blue. All right, so I decided to go ahead and put the electric blue in. So I'm gonna focus mainly here where this eyelet is. So I'm just gonna go up and down right here. Uh, so I mainly just focus it on the head dominantly because obviously we all know that this is gonna be covered up with the tail end and the body. So just gonna give it a nice little shot right there. All right, I'm gonna give another shot. All right, so I'll be back. All right, they're all dried off. I'm gonna be taking this wrap off. I've never done this before, so I'm kind of thinking the best route for this would be to spread the bottom out and then try not to stab yourself, obviously. That'll be the first tactic. But I'm thinking about putting my thumb like this and then popping it through. So let's see how that goes. It's gonna be kind of hard to do. Oh, didn't do it. Well, let's see how it looks. Now I gotta get her off. Hold on. There we go. Got one little blemish there, but it don't really matter. All in all, you're going to be beating it up on rocks. And where this is, 
where that is right there, I can actually put an eyeball on it right in that spot and hide that. So that don't look too bad. There we go. Not all god awful. Got the white belly, green. Turquoise is in there somewhere with some dark blue. Hey, we're learning here, so not bad for your first one. And then here's the yellow, and then I did turquoise, and then a violet on the top. So let's see how this goes. And I probably should have did the white on here to give it more of a turquoise look, but things like this, it just it takes away from it, unless you're trying to go for some boldness. I'll do some videos later on how to do that kind of stuff. All right, so let's try it this way now. Well, rip and pull, or push, basically just push with my finger. That wasn't as bad. There we go. Mm. I'm going to say I'm not a fan of this one. But it's all right. We're going to fish with it anyways, beat it up on some rocks, so it'll knock it all off anyways. This one don't look too bad, though. So I'll come back here. This one actually turned out pretty sweet out of the other ones. This one here I like. Just wanted to show you as I was peeling it off. This one looked good. All right, so I put these eyes on it. Obviously, we all know that these are going to get knocked off eventually after you bust it off a couple rocks, but gotta at least make it look good. All right, I'm going to go dip it, and then I'll be back with the follow-up and show you what it looks like. Here's the wrap-up to my video. Just wanted to let you all know that I appreciate you for sticking around and learning with me. So just to let you know, I forgot to wipe off the dip and I tried sanding down the one side and I kind of messed it up, but it's no big deal because we're gonna be beating these things against rocks anyway. So I decided to leave the drip on it in potential hopes to allow it to beat up on a couple rocks and not worry about it. So once again, thank you all, it means a lot and get out there and rip those lips.